few years ago, I was running to catch a downtown express bus to work. I had been told that if I came to work late one more time, I might as well not show up at all. And that day I missed the bus. So I just sat down on the bench and I buried my face in my hands and I probably would have sat there the entire day had I not been startled by a voice next to me. I looked up and see a little man sitting next to me. I hadn't even heard him approach the bench. And on his lap was a large black leather case. And he looked up at me and he said, oh, did you miss your bus? And I said, yeah, and now I'm probably gonna lose my job because of it. And he said, oh, that's most unfortunate. What has happened? All I needed was five more minutes. If I had gotten here five minutes sooner, I'd be on that bus and I'd be going to work. Is five minutes all you need? Well, now I would need 20 minutes, 20 minutes to get downtown on time. 20 minutes. Well, that's still doable. That's very doable. And with that, he unlatched his case and flung open the top. And inside, it was filled with watches. And I looked inside and I said, very nice watches, but I don't need watches. I need to get to work on time. <laughs> oh, I understand. You see, I don't sell watches. I sell time vessels. I'm a time broker. And I allocate time to these watches. And then I sell it to people like yourself who always seems to be running out of time. I see, I said. Um, how much does a time vessel go for these days? <laughs> oh, I can let you have a very fine time vessel already allocated with 20 minutes for, say, $200. Well, my first response was to laugh. But I figured I was sitting next to a lunatic, so I thought I should be cautious. <laughs> so I simply said, sorry, I can't afford a $200 watch. Time vessel, he corrected me. I quite understand. Perhaps you need assurance. And I seem to be a very good judge of character, and I see in you this prospect for future business. So I'm willing to give you a time vessel today, already allocated with 20 minutes, at no cost. So you're just going to give me a watch. Time vessel. OK. Let's say I take one of your time vessels. How does it work? Oh, it's quite simple. And with that, he pulled one out of his case, and he put it in the palm of my hand. You simply turn the hands back. Go ahead, turn the hands back 20 minutes. And so I did, and nothing happened. So I said, now what? He says, oh, well, then you just press the button on top. But before you do that, you must understand, time is a very finite commodity. The time you are given is borrowed from someone else, someone in your proximity. Somebody near you will experience a loss of time. Well, I guess that would be unfortunate, but I do need to get to work. So what do I do, just press the button? Yes, just press the button. And as soon as I press the button, everything went black and I thought I was going to pass out but when I recovered the little man was gone and I was just glad I hadn't given him my $200 well I got up and I was going to walk home to tell my wife and kids I probably lost another job when I noticed about a half a block down the street a bus coming in my direction clearly marked downtown express and when it got to the stop I hesitated for a few minutes, but I did get on the bus, and I did get to work on time that day. The funny thing was, my boss, who had never been late a day in his life, <laughs> came in that day 20 minutes late. With no explanation, he just felt dizzy before he left his house. And I'd like to say that that's the ending, but there is more because we are all given a finite amount of time, precious seconds. When we use them, they're gone forever. But in order for me to tell you that, 
I would need five minutes. Yeah. <laughs>